Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Tech Donuts. Again, we have Matthew from Movies and Milk, along with me and Nathan. Today we're talking about Batman tech. Let's get down to it. Right, this week we're going to talk about Batman. Reese is going to talk about Batman tech within the films, and Matthew is going to talk about tech um, and how it can be utilised in the real world. And we're going to have some discussions and, and go through all the tech. What I thought I'd start off with is um, the staple of Batman, who he is when you just see him for a distance, the bat armour. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to put images up just so you can see the different iterations as, it, as it's went on, but um, I'm actually going to talk about my favourite one, mm-hmm. which is, it has to be the Dark Knight, because right. that was just an unbelievable, like it had everything to do with it, and uh, obviously he's, he's pal uh, Lucius, Lucius Fox, he's the man that makes it all. He's the man that makes it all happen, and um, it's just it's just meant it. I mean, what, what was your what's your favourite armor for the, the Batman series? Uh, not so much armor, but my favourite costume is Ben Affleck, because it takes it almost uh, directly from the Dark Knight Returns, which is my favourite. Well, one of my favourite uh, Batman graphic novels. So it takes it directly from that, um, and it, it just looks amazing. But I think the best tech or the best designed costume is uh, Christian Bale's the Dark Knight. Aye. You know, mm-hmm. obviously you can move the neck and everything, but it's a bit awkward if you're Batman. Aye, because that's what the old ones like. Like, like <laughs> aye. <laughs> Something to show you behind. What was that? A Batman. A Batman. I like uh, I like Robert Pattinson. I like that one. That's that's very. For, cool. for what we've got, the teaser images. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Quite cool. And the trailer. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. Mate, looks unbelievable. Mm-hmm. It's apparently going to be the darkest one yet. Oh, I hope so. Mm-hmm. I hope so. I don't the think darkest one yet. Yeah. The darkest of nights. The darkest of nights. Oh, that's a good one. That's probably better than mine. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so we've all talked about our favourite ones, um, and I'm actually going to leave it up to Matthew because he's like the the Batman aficionado. Bat. He just looks like a floating head with a Batman logo, but that's what Batman looks like. That is what Batman looks like. So he's actually going to go into more detail on the real life. Batman suit that you can get right now. Coming on from the Batman suit, Matthew is going to talk about a real life Batman suit called D30 Armour. Yep. Um, so he'll go into detail about that. Pop, yep. pop us through it. Well, it's not so much inspired from Batman, it's just kind of always existed uh, for military purposes or uh, you know, law enforcement or even football teams, like American football teams, like they'll use the D30 Armour as it's called. And basically, it's, it's very, very flexible. It means that, like, right. if you were to fall in a specific part of your body where that armor was, mm-hmm. obviously, armor has uh, shock absorbers. So, if you were to fall in a specific part of your body, the flexibility of that would carry the shock all around your body rather right. than impact the one place. Okay. Yeah. So we probably see that in uh, the Batman Begins, like with mm-hmm. Lucius Fox and stuff. Like, you'll just take like it's just D thirty armor, and he spray uh, spray paints it black. And then he oh. designs it himself, so it's, right, okay. it's just a design. It's it's up for you know you can pretty much design it how you want. Um, but one of the the best parts of it is very flexible. It's used by law enforcement. It's used for like day to day purposes. You know for like sort of lightweight, the big yeah lightweight, um, flexible. It forms into any part of your body. You know, malleable. So see, so see how like the American football guys malleable. That malleable, not valuable. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it's valuable as well. Um, so see, see the thing with the Batman suit. It's like it looks as if he's got that D30 armor like everywhere, yeah. mm-hmm. and there's not one part of his body that's not covered by it. And mm-hmm. it but the American footballers have actually just they've got a small chest plate, the shoulder pads, mm-hmm. a neck brace, and like sometimes they've got the thigh guards. Mm-hmm. So do you think if you were to like get all that specifically made, do you think that would work as a kind of it probably would, yeah, yeah. Obviously, going back to the flexibility of it, obviously Batman would have to have a flexible suit because mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. it would just be he would not be able to do half the things that he could be doing. Mm-hmm. No. Um, and I think that's a big flaw with like some of the earlier Batman films. It just looks like steel. Like how can they move so flexibly? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think what the Christian Bale Batman done very well is that they got like the armor down to a T. It looked really the flexibility. Realistic. Everything like that. Mm-hmm. Ben Affleck's didn't really look like armor at all. It just looked as if he put on like a morph suit, and <laughs> like a latex kind of suit. Into it. <laughs> but somehow it was still bulletproof, you know. Mm-hmm. But the biggest flaw about the D thirty armor is that it is not bulletproof. So if you were to be shot with this armor, it would unfortunately it would just penetrate the skin still. Right through. Um, so it's just point. Right through. 
Well, what's the point is that there's bulletproof well, vests see, and see when you see when you watch Batman, he doesn't it doesn't really it, well he does come up against guns, but he really comes up against guns. Mm. It's more hand to hand to hand combat. Mm. Oh, oh, civilians, civilians, yeah. I just punch them. <laughs> so like, yeah. big sticks. Or the Batman v Super, uh, Batman v Superman film, the warehouse scene, mm-hmm. where uh, everyone's got their guns trained like to the, the door because they think Batman's going to come in the door but he comes up through the floor through the floor eh? and he's got like these wee gadgets that attach to all of the guns and disarms oh, them immediately wow. mm-hmm. and then yep. he's got the advantage so no one can use the guns against yeah. him yeah fantastic so he doesn't even they don't even need the guns. they don't need guns no. yeah. and that's one of his biggest rules as well he doesn't kill people he, yeah, doesn't, he doesn't use guns not, yeah. he says that the Dark Knight rises uh, to Catwoman no guns right next what's next uh, on, on uh, bodyguard stun gloves what, right okay explain that to us so bodyguard stun gloves are obviously well known Batman for wearing like the, the, the really like cool spikes in the yeah, side of them, yeah. spikes there. Yeah. I mean, they um, stuff like that. Yeah, and then so when people hit them, like we can see it in Batman Begins, so it's like uh, Ra's al Ghul and like uh, the League of Shadows are attacking them with like swords, and he's deflecting them like that. Mm-hmm. So there's actually an upgrade to that called the bodyguard stun glove, which basically means it, um, if there's a bad guy coming towards you with like any sort of uh, material or uh, steel or a sword or whatever, you know, this would basically electrocute them. Right, it okay. would send them about five wow. or six oh, So feet. this is in real life? This is in real life, you can actually get this. I, so I it's like somebody's hooked a, a, like a, a stun gun up to like this thing. Basically, basically. So it's like whatever matches it, um, you know. It's like 50,000 volts. You know, 50,000 volts right through a, a bit of steel. Getting attacked. Um, <laughs> Imagine the shock he'd be in that one of the bad guys like swinging like, as a, as guys did sword, and then just out of nowhere mm-hmm. you're flying back. I mean, we move on to stick and find Bluetooth stickers, which are basically um, again you see it in uh, the end of Dark Knight when he's like shooting like the gun, oh, big. and it's like it's like a bomb attached to it. Obviously, uh-huh. there's no bombs attached to this one, but basically it's a sticker that can track up to ten feet away. So if you were in a position where you had to kind of eavesdrop without actually having to be there, mm-hmm. you know, you could put this somewhere safe. It's advantageous because you can put it in the ceiling, the wall, under somewhere. You see it all the time. Mm-hmm. It's not anything mm-hmm. new and it's not like specific to Batman, but mm-hmm. it's, it's definitely there. Yeah. So he could be in the back cave and he could use like the radio communicator that we're talking about with the stun glove. Um, and he could just listen to it. Yeah, it's comfort cool. his own back cave, you know. I think the only, you're probably going to tell us about this, the only flaw is that it's only 10 feet. It's only th- I, that's ten feet. It's not that far. Can <laughs> <laughs> mind a box. Uh, <laughs> it's not that far. Don't you? Big set of iPods on. Big set of iPods on the laptop. With the kill. What are you doing? Just with the kill. Just his suit. No, no. Batman. No, no. No, no Batman. No Batman. Moving on from that. My favourite thing, actually. Grapple guns. The grapple gun. The grapple gun. The grapple gun. I've always wanted a grapple gun. Grapple guns are just cool, man. Yeah. yeah. They'll always be cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, when it's entertainment and a work of fiction, like obviously the comics or the games or the, the films, they're small enough to be concealed and transportable in the utility belt. Mm-hmm. But in real life, if you were to get a grapple gun, it's significantly massive. bigger. Oh, but cool. it's, it's, it's massive. So that's it's like a bazooka. Actually, but um, <laughs> that correlates nicely with a grappling hook that's pocket-sized. Which um, you would probably opt for that, wouldn't you? Because yeah, apparently it can hold up to three hundred and fifty pounds. Well, I'm, I'm not three hundred and fifty pounds. No, I mean you know, one hundred and seventy pounds or something like that. So that could carry us with cool. ease. That, I think that's quite interesting. Yeah, um, that's cool. Else. Yeah, and it's a, com- a compact size, so it's, as I said, it's simpler to transport and conceal if you want it to actually be built. Yeah. Anyway, and then finally. Probably the oh. coolest feature for mm-hmm. Batman yes. is the Batmobile or the Tumbler or uh, the Bat Pod, which is obviously a bike, or the Bat Wing, which is probably a little bit too far fetched to exist. But I'm not going to yeah. say it doesn't See, exist. To be honest, the Bat Wing was it not just propellers? I, it just looked like a big drone. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's basically just a massive drone. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, and that's uh, that's not that far fetched. That could be. You know, we talked it about that in, in our first week in yeah. the Jetpack Aviation Company. Yeah, yeah. they they could the make that easy. The Bat Pack. The Bat Pack. <laughs> um, so just coming on from what we're talking about what we're discussing there um, Spy Kids we'll talk about that one week um, we'll talk about Spider-Man like we mentioned last week and I was thinking Iron Man as well because it's got a lot of cool tech that's coming out right moving on from everything Batman and all things next week and the weeks to come uh, I think we should get on to some donuts let's do it what do you think guys yep. yeah let's go. so this week's donuts are very Bobby basic they are from Asda. Asda's basics. Asda there. Mm. 
I mean, that was nice. That's lovely. That was nice. You know what? FIFA was like an easy tasting donut. Mm -hmm. Just something easy. The rankings. What do you think? I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to. It was a really nice donut. It was really plain though. Mm. It's a normal it's a classic bit donut. And we got four. Oh, I was going to say five. Were you? No. I would say about five as well. It's nothing spectacular, no. but it's, as you said, it does a job. You can it does have a, a job. I eat it, and I wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. As always, thanks for watching Take Donuts again this week. Thank you to Matthew for coming on the show again. Thank you for having me. If thank you're you. interested, we have merch available. Also, we're going to get Matthew one soon. Yep, so. we're going to get Matthew one. Follow us on all the social medias. We're on Instagram and we are on Facebook. And be sure to like, subscribe, and share to all your friends. And if you really, really like it, uh, you can buy us a coffee and buy me a coffee dot com. I'm just kidding. You don't need to, but it's it's just nice. It, it, it gives you a lot of motivation to do what I do for you. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next week. Love you. Bye.